Hello and welcome to this Code Academy walkthrough brought to you by Tech Tutorials by Kyle. <coughs> In this video we will be dealing with FizzBuzz, which uh, the description is the first application for week one of Code Year. So it's sort of like a test to see if uh, what we learned stuck. So FizzBuzz is a children's game where you can count from 1 to 20. And then every number that's divisible by 3 you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to say Fizz. Every number divisible by five, say buzz, and then for numbers divisible by both three and five, say fizz buzz. And it's saying let's start off by using console.log to print out all the numbers from one to twenty, but don't do it in a brute force way and just write them all out. Find a more awesome way, as they say, which means use a loop. Uh, I used a while loop, but you can also use a for loop for this. So. First, you need to make a variable. I just named it count and make it equal to one. Uh, if you're doing a for loop, then you would just do that as part of writing the syntax for the for loop. And I just said while counts is less than or equal to 20. I uh, just write out the number, console.log, count, and then increment the number by one. You also could have done count plus plus. Either way would have worked, and we see if we do run, it printed out the numbers from 1 through 20. Alright. If the number now it wants us to print out fizz for every number number divisible by 3, if not, print out the number. So they already wrote the loop for us here. They used a for loop. And we're basically just filling in the if-else statement. So if it's divisible by 3, you can test that by using the modulus symbol or the percent sign. You want to do the number mod 3 is equal to 0, which means it is divisible by 3. Console.log fizz, else, and then just write out the number. Console.log i. All right. Let's go ahead and run that. We see every number divisible by 3 is fizz. So 3, 6, 9, all replaced with fizz. Alright. Now add an else statement to check if the number is divisible by 5 and if it is, print out fuzz instead of the number. So for this one, you actually have to use an else if statement. Since there's several different cases we're checking for here. So this one's already filled in for us here. And in the else if statement, we're going to put it's the same idea. I mod 5 is equal to 0. Console.log buzz. And then else, just write out the number, console.log i. That's the default statement if we remember the correct terminology. So let's go ahead and run that and we see every number that is old by 5 is replaced with buzz. So 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. Uh, and now it says we need to make a statement, we need to add another if statement to check if it is divisible by both 3 and 5, and if so, it's going to print out fizzbuzz. So we're going to make the first if statement, we're going to fill it in with uh, the two statements we made before, all in one. So i mod 3 is equal to 0. And if we remember these, what these two ampersands or and symbols mean, it checks both of these statements. And for this overall statements right here to be true, both of these individual statements have to be true. So we have i mod 3 is equal to 0, i mod 5 is equal to 0, console.log fizzbuzz. Then we have else if i mod 3 is equal to 0, fizz. Else if i mod 5 is equal to 0, console.log buzz, and then the default statements is console.log just the number. Alright, and we see here we get fizzbuzz for 15, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, we want it wants us to modify the program so that it runs for 1 to 100. And then it says if we really want to be cool, replace 100 with a variable that you set at the beginning of your program to impress your friends if they really are impressed by that. 
so we have we're gonna declare our variable up here I named it poo initialize it to 100 and basically what we're doing is we're just putting that in the limiting statements in the for loop so we're gonna say I is less than or equal to poo which is just equal to 100 and what that'll do is it'll run it from 1 to 100 just like it asked and we use the variable which makes us really cool and if we check here we'll have gone from 1 to 100 doing everything we asked it to alright this concludes that walkthrough so uh, please remember to rate comment and subscribe and please check out my website and also um, if if I get enough comments for this, uh, I might make a answer sheet to for all of the different courses for the JavaScripts because I know some people watch my videos just wanting the answers. Um, I don't exactly advise that because instruction is always better than just looking at the answer. But I know there are a group of people that just want the answer sheets, so. If I get enough people to request that, I'll make an answer sheet uh, with all the answers to all the courses and all the lessons, and I will post it on my website. So leave a comment below if you would like that. Uh, thank you for watching.